under the impression that um, in order to be free, you don't have to, you know, there's, there's, there's no cost or there's no, <clears throat> there's no price to pay. There's no exchange for freedom. So far from the truth, all right? Because you can't be free without being responsible, if that makes sense. So if I'm responsible, then I'm free. You understand? Because I can conduct myself in responsible ways to where I won't put myself in uh, really bad situations as to, you know, where things might not end up the way I want them to. Being responsible, not putting myself or others in danger. Everyone has that opportunity to live life according to how they want to live it. So, <clears throat> live it how you want to live it. But, Tushin does not grant or give anything. The Constitution is protecting and securing via contract what is there, the rights that are there already, rights that are pre-existing. These are rights that, <clears throat> certain rights that just don't need to be said that you just know are just common rights, all right, and not privileges. And what has happened was, what has happened is, due to this de facto democracy system, and dumbing down of the of, of the population and getting into the school system and pretty much teaching us nothing in regards to substance as to the true definition of you know being a citizen of your national government because people aren't aware there are two forms of government on this land you have your <clears throat> you have your federal government and then you have your national government all right federal government national government federal government is quasi national what does quasi national mean kind of sort of like it but not exactly and it, it, it you know certain things it resembles all right so that means that certain powers that federal government has resembles there are certain powers they have that resemble or come close come close to the powers or the sovereign powers of national government but you must understand, there are, there's no equality between the two. That's like me and the creator. There's, there's no equal. I don't stand above the creator because obviously I didn't create the creator. The creator created me, so I can't stand above the creator. So you must. So that's pretty much the same concept with uh, that idea. And so <clears throat> I find it funny is because our ancestors, you know established these laws because these laws were here before like I said in previous videos these laws were here before Columbus was before Columbus even knew that there were people living on these different um, islands that he was you know uh, colonizing on so these laws were pre-established we had these laws down packed from who knows since when but they've been here and the crazy part is these same laws that our ancestors established to make sure that we would have a chance to progress and move forward you see what i'm saying so when they wrote the constitution they wrote it when our ancestors formed the constitution they formed the constitution with the impression that we would build on top of what they already had established which was pyramids um wealth agriculture all these great things uh, uh literature liberal arts all these things that help civilization grow so they expected us to take that and build on it not go into a dark a, a, a dark hole and pretty much what we're doing now is now that we're out of the darkness those who are awake now we're trying to climb our way back up into the light <clears throat> you know in an attempt to get back to where we used to be and that's where we're at today so you must the Constitution is there for you to uphold it. Now, it wasn't ex the Constitution was never emphasized in school. Rights of right uh, rights, Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous People was never mentioned in school. Decla uh, Declaration of Human Rights was never mentioned in school. Uh, North American uh, Charter of uh, Rights of with it, North American Charter of Freedoms was never mentioned in school. All these things that contribute to you knowing your rights because see knowledge is power so if you know something 
if you're knowledgeable about it and you know how to apply that power, you're empowered. See, because people can't run game on you if you know how the game is run. And this is a game they're playing. Welcome to the game of Monopoly. Or I like to call it the Matrix. The Matrix, Monopoly, whatever the hell you want to call the game tomorrow. But this shit ain't real. This is a fictitious legal aspect of life that they're living. And they got you thinking that because you live in a because you live in a uh, um, you know, a set of longitude and and, 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 uh, and latitude numbers on a piece of paper marked you know, marked on a piece of paper, uh, you believe that that city exists as if it's part of nature that city this the city you're living in exists on paper alone all right longitude and latitude geographical numbers on paper and that's where that territorial or whichever republic you're living in now exists so it doesn't exist on the land it exists on paper the land is the land all right they couldn't physically go in and cut the land into little pieces. No. They took a big piece of paper, which was, they created a jurisdiction. On that piece of paper, they marked out longitude and latitude, which areas, you know, take up which certain amount of space. What are the measurements? Longitude, latitude. So this area here is this state, that state. All right? And that's how it's done. But the Constitution is the supreme law of the land. Let me repeat that one more time. The Constitution is the supreme law of the land. So, it is your duty. You know it's your duty to know the Constitution? This is not like a maybe, if I feel like doing it. No, if you want to live the life that our ancestors left for us to live, they put those rules in place so that we would have the ability to progress off of the rights that they already established for us, the civilization they already established for us, the form of government that they already established for us. But we took a step back. Why? Because there's two sides to this contract, people. Let me say that one more time. There's two sides to this contract, you see? Because people only want to look at the one side, whereas it's saying that all public officials have an oath to uphold and support the Constitution. That is a valid fact. That is part of their contract, but you must un but uh, you must understand we have a part of, we have a part in that contract as well, and that is to enforce it when they come out of face. What well, I don't know exactly what period where we just stop <clears throat> giving a damn about the law. We stop understanding how the system worked. We stopped understanding. Like, do you see how this shit has flipped? The people who created government the indigenous peoples here who created government now today in 2014 going into 2015 the descendants of those very same people that established those government for those said descendants to enjoy and prosper off of today don't even know what the hell those uh, laws constitute what they say. They probably don't even know what it looks like. Probably don't even know what the Constitution looks like. It's sad, but that's a reality. And people, and you know, we need to wake up and, 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 and wake up and break out of this paradigm. Like, yo, all you know, that's the laws, the white man's. That's the white man's thing. So I don't need that. You know, that's the that's the that's the white man shit. I'm not getting into that. No, that's some nigga shit. That's some real nigga shit. 